let's go to Maxwell Agbagba, who is our roving man on the AM show uh, every weekday morning. He's somewhere in Fafaha this morning because we understand there's a demolition exercise. Maxwell, what's happening? Where exactly are you? Well, Mama V, uh, yes, it's true. We are um, at Denta Frafraha. Uh, mm. I mean, specifically, we are at Frafraha here. Mm. And um, we understand that some demolition happened um, early this morning. Uh, we didn't come to meet the heavy, uh, heavily armed police officers who were here to ensure that the demolition was, you know, carried out. We understand they left about 30 minutes ago mm. uh, together with the earth moving machines that came here uh, to, you know, demolish the structures here. A lot of them, um, some of them, high, you know, uh, one-story buildings, um, some of them also uh, <coughs> single rooms, different structures, you know, have been demolished here. And we still have um, some people around, you know, wondering how, you know, um, the people came in here to demolish the buildings. They say they believe they are from the State Housing um, Company Limited. One of the people whose houses, you know, whose house was demolished is a member of parliament for um, South Dai. Honorable Roxon, um, the Fiamakwa, he's here with me, and um, I want him to join us to tell us uh, exactly, you know, what happened, whether he was here when um, the demolition happened. Mr. Dufiamakwa, you're welcome to join us. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Tell me, at what point did you get information that uh, your building was also, you know, affected here? Yes, that's my building in the background, the rubble that you see. It's a, it's a three-story building which is which is being roofed at the roof stage um we're just waiting to um put the finishing touches this was a land we got from the chiefs um in any case if state housing uh, thinks that this is their land and and it's been you know, encroached upon the due process of law is there you have to go to court so that i come and defend my interest in the land you just don't wake up one day and bring an, an F moving machine and pull down my building without any recourse to me. I've been placing a call to the MD since yesterday. I've sent him messages, he will not answer. I've called all the powers that be that this thing, the MP, my colleague, um, Yabuabian Samoa was with me this dawn. And he was also helpless. Nobody will answer. And it's, and it's, and it's a very pitiful situation that you claim that the land is for you you move in with bulldozer and look this construction didn't happen in a day this construction is is, is over a two years period and so if you, you you don't wait for somebody to pour to dig a foundation pour concrete uh, put iron rods roof and then you come and say it's yours no you have acquiesced i am not saying by any stretch of imagination that i didn't get this land properly i got the land through the appropriate vendor and so if another entity, which is a state institution, if you think, look, I don't think this is this is a demolition, quad demolition. This is a targeted demolition. What makes you think it's a targeted demolition? Yeah, uh, the yeah. state housing company is saying that you've yeah. encroached on look your lands. Look at the buildings around. There's a building behind you. There, there are so many buildings. Look at how a building that is before me has been spared because they told me that he placed a call to somebody and they gave instructions that that building should be left out. It's only four buildings that have been pulled down. This one, the other one, mine, and some other one. What they did was to, because they didn't want the thing to look like a targeted demolition, then they, they broke a few fence wall and left. I'm sure they gave you proud notice before nothing. they came to do this. And nothing. <laughs> I speak to you. When I spoke, there's a chap called Soa. He claimed to be the surveyor from State House. When I spoke to him, he said, I don't know why I'm speaking to you because I respect you. Otherwise, I won't speak to you. I have nothing. I just have instructions from my company to come and do the demolition. If you are aggrieved, go to court. And walked off. Just like that. I go, I live at Achimota. I got here from um, at about 4.30 when my, my developer um, uh, called me yesterday night to say that this was the intelligence he had picked up that this will happen. I couldn't believe it because I even thought that Look, two police vehicles and, 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 and soldiers were here. And I have the numbers of the vehicle. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a legal practitioner. If you get a judgment from a court with a writ of possession order, and you even want to recover your land, the processes that you go through the police before they give you three personnel or four personnel, it is not a joke. They, they, sometimes they even demand that they want to see the judgment. Even with a, a court, a writ of possession order from a court, 
they will further demand to see the judgment whether indeed the judge decreed that you should you should have possession of the land. Now you, you tell so under what circumstances did the, did the combined team of police and army accompany people from state housing to this place? There's no court court process. I have not been served with any court notice. They, they didn't even put an inscription on the building. No, I speak to you on authority. But I mean, do you know that the lands belong to the state housing company? No. I'm a lawyer. I've done a lot of cases around state housing. I know state housing is in court with some people. Some of the cases I have done, but this one it's not for them. If this line is for them, what is the acreage? This is this is less than a three-acre land. That I, I I acquired about two plots. Another has acquired about three plots. Others one plot. I, I mean, how would you be doing this demolition without recourse to the entire area? So, so, so what, what, what are you going to do now? Uh, the three-story building has been pulled down. Been pulled what, what are you going to do? It's now a rubble. I, uh, I'm distraught now, uh, but because this are you is going to pursue. Yes, yeah, indeed. <laughs> this is even if it takes ten years, I will pursue them in court. Believe you me. I will have, I will, I will have my day in court in this matter. So I'm just putting them on notice. Because so what told me that if I'm aggrieved, I should go to court. They will meet me in court. Uh -huh. So, and I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer of repute. So I will, I, I will, I will, I will advise myself in the matter. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay. But if so you want you just, to uh, develop, yeah, um, you, uh, one other you just heard, you just heard from uh, the member of parliament for South Dai, um, Roxin Dofiamakpo, telling us how his um, three-story building was actually pulled down by persons believed to be from the state housing company. Um, they are saying that um, they've encroached on their lands here and they moved in uh, this dawn um, to demolish the buildings. There's another man here also whose structure was demolished. Can you tell us um, what structure exactly is it? Well, it's a single-story uh, building, uh, three-bedroom all in suit. And so you, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, almost it's, it's gotten to the level where we need to just put finishing touches to it. I mean, I'm talking about fittings and all that. So, yes, um, we're there, as Honorable just mentioned, um, just yesterday. Uh, no, actually, this dawn that uh, somebody called us. And in fact, the person who called us is a squatter in the building. We asked the person to stay there, you know, caretaker, uh, excuse me. And then he called us that it's happening this dawn. Then we were alarmed. So I had to rush in there and truly, I mean, it was happening. I couldn't help it because there were police presence and military. But, but Valentine, do you have the necessary documentation that proves that, you know, the land belongs to you? Sure. I mean, <laughs> I'm also a developer. So uh, apart from this one that I'm doing for myself, I have other, and I know the processes. In fact, this place has two uh, uh, fashions, uh, the Frafraha and then some queen mother too is involved. We've seen all of them. And they are aware we are doing this thing. I have my documentation. I have everything. And you know, with buildings, you do your searches and all those things. We, we did all that. We didn't hear of state housing uh, company. All that happened was that after we had started building, I think some few, uh, when we got to the lentil or something, and then we came one day and saw an inscription on, on the building, that state housing, whatever, I bring your document. When did you see this? Just like uh, about... When we started, uh, some few months after we had started, so we went there. We went there, we opened the file, and they said, okay, this is what has happened. They acquired the land some years back. Uh, it was given to them, blah, 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 blah. So they said, if we want the land back, we need to open a file, and they will look at it and give us, you know, give it back to us. Uh, there's a process to it. So that is what is ongoing. We've done that, and it's ongoing. So if there is anything like demolition happening, at least you need to bring the stakeholders together, like myself, um, the honourable, and other people, because the demolition that has happened, it's it's it involves quite a number of people. Bring us together, give us notices, let us know the roadmap, what we are supposed to do. R how the Fiamma process is going to pursue this? Is it the same for you too? Why not? I mean, if you have an investment worth over two hundred thousand Ghana cities in this. You just wake up and it's gone. What would you do? You tell me. I, I, can, I can see tears welling up in your eyes. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm, 
you, you, you can tell from the camera, I'm, not, I'm quite young. I mean, working so hard, you know, uh, acquiring something that you want to live on. You know the circumstances within which we are in this country. And you've been able to do this and just by, you know, you know, some circumstances which is beyond you. You don't even know what is happening. You just happen to see that it's, that it's gone down the drain. If this thing happens, I mean, what would you do? Mama, okay. uh, he's getting a bit emotional um, here at Adenta Frafraha, but um, that is what it is right now. Um, these buildings have been uh, pulled down. Um, I mean, uh, this one is a three-story building belonging to the Member of Parliament for South Dai. Another one uh, belonging to the gentleman that um, we just spoke to. There are other residents living here who are also going around looking at um, their structures. About um, 15 of them all of them, you know, demolished here at Fafraha Mamavi. But just before we go, I don't know if he, if, if the, the MP made it clear. Is this a structure he was living in? Maxwell? Okay, Maxwell can't seem to understand me uh, or hear me, uh, but that's uh, detailed enough. Uh, so that's the situation as it stands at Fafraha, uh, and you hear the stories here first when they break. You're watching the AM show.